Hello everyone. Today I am going to start sampling theory. In this sampling theory, most probably I will tell you test of significance and a few more definitions. This is completely very much important as well as uh, so many definitions, basics, fundamentals of sampling theory is there. Just we will go through once, one by one. Now what is sampling theory? If the population units if the population units under study are infinite or distributive type to give the population measures we use sampling that means if the population units are uh, under study, whatever we are going to study the population units are infinite then whatever the distribution type we get to give the population measures we use as sampling now population what is mean by population definition of population population is a group of items the units under study are called population. Population is a group of items. The units and uh, the units under study are called population. This may be finite or infinite or animate or inanimate. Example of population is students in a class is a finite population. A second example population of stars in a sky. Population of stars in a sky is infinite population. Now what is mean by sample? Now a sample, a finite subset of a finite subset of statistical individuals in a population is called sample. That means from the whole items, a finite a finite number of items if you check and that is called a sample. A finite subset of statistical individuals in a population is called a sample and the number of items in that is called sample size. Example is selecting 10 girls from a class of 50 students. Selecting 10 girls is a sample out of 50 students. In a, if the sample size, if the sample size is less than 30 items, if the sample size, if the sample has less than 30 items, it is called small sample. Remember, if the sample has greater than 30, if the sample is having greater than 30 items, then it is called large sample. Now random sample. Next, next definition is random sample. A random sample is one in which each member of a population has an equal chance. Randomly. A random sample is one in which each member of the population has an equal chance. That is called a random sample or probability is being included in the sample which it is taken from the population. If it is having equal chances then we say that it is a random sample. Types of sampling. There are few types of commonly used types of sampling are first one is purposive sampling. Second one is random sampling. Third one is a simple sampling. And fourth one is stratified sampling. There are four types of commonly used uh, uh, sample sampling is there. First one is purposive sampling, random sampling, simple sampling and stratified sampling. Now parameter and statistic. What is parameter and number? Uh, now onwards we have to use the test static statistic. Like that we have to use this word number of times. Parameter and statistic. The statistical constants, what is mean by statistics are parameter and parameter. The statistical constants of the population are, the statistical constant of a population are generally known as parameters. These are generally not known. These are all not known. We don't know the about these uh, constants, statistical constants, parameters generally not known and can be estimated through sample estimates. The statistical values computed from the samples, the statistical values computed from the samples are known as statistics. The statistic can be treated as estimate of the population parameter. The statistic can be treated as an estimate of the population parameter. If E, capital E, statistic uh, para, is equal to parameter, if E is a statistic, then the statistic is known as unbiased estimate of the population parameter.
Now the next definition is the standard error. Now from now onwards all definitions will get test of significance, null hypothesis, alternative hypothesis, standard error. Very very important definitions all are standard error. The standard, is it visible? Very good. Uh -huh. Standard error. The standard deviation. What is the definition of a standard error? How to find? The standard deviation of a sampling distribution of a statistic is known as its a standard error. Standard deviation SD of a sampling distribution of a statistic is known as standard error. Some well-known statistics of large population can be defined as follows. These are all for large samples. These are all well-known statistics. Now... Uh, large sample means greater than 30 if sample size is greater than 30 statistical sim sample mean is denoted with x bar standard error is a sigma by root n observed sample proportion propor, uh, proportion observed sample proportion p standard error is under root of p q by n here statistic is difference of two sample means x1 bar minus x2 bar is equal to under root of sigma 1 square by n1 plus sigma 2 square by n2. Now, next one is difference of two sample propor proportions. P1 minus P2 is equal to under root of PQ into 1 by n1 plus n 1 by n2. These are all some well-known statistics, uh, standard error. Now, Standard error plays very important role. Standard error plays a very important role in the large sample theory and forms a basis of testing of hypothesis. Z is equal to T minus E of T by S into E of T formula. Standard error plays a very important role this, uh, uh, in the large sample and forms the basis of the testing of hypothesis. Z is equal to T minus E of T by S into E of T. Tests of significance. Very, very important. Tests of significance enables us to decide on the basis of the sample results. This test of significance is enables us. This test of significance enables us to decide on the basis of the sample results. If, if uh, the first one. The deviation between observed, the, the deviation between the observed sample statistics and the hypothesis hypothetical parameter value the deviation between now in the given problem they will give you hypothetical parameter value and by doing problem we will observe sample statistic the deviation between observed sample statistic and hypothetical parameter value the second one deviation between two independent sample statistics while doing the problem test of significance i'll tell you you have to find the deviation between observed sample hypothetical hypothetical means whatever given observed means whatever we did we if we observe, we find using the table, we calculated, calculated value, that one. The next one is null hypothesis. A, a definite statement about the population parameter for applying the tests of significance is called a definite statement. It is a def null hypothesis, a definite statement about the population parameter for applying the tests of significance is called null hypothesis which is usually hypothesis of a no difference which is usually called a hypothesis of no difference or null hypothesis example if we want to example if you see one example you can understand if we want to test the average per capita income uh, if we want to test the average per capita income of India is 5000, then null hypothesis is always denoted with H0. H0 is mu. Mu is equal to 5000 implies H0. Mu is equal to mu0. Where mu is equal to 5000. Where mu is equal to 5000. If we want to test the average per capita income of India is 5000, then null hypothesis H0 is equal to mu is equal to 5000 implies H0. H0 means null hypothesis. We denote the null hypothesis with H0. Mu is equal to mu0 where mu is equal to 5000. Like this we have to write. The next one is alternative hypothesis. 
it is a hypothesis com uh, complementary it is a hypothesis complementary to the null hypothesis it is a hypothesis complement to the null hypothesis if we want to test the population parameter mu1 assumes a hypothetical value mu0 always remember h1 denote the alternative hypothesis if we want to test the population parameter mu1 assumes hypothetical value mu0 h1 is equal to mu is not equal to mu0 called as two tailed test h1 alternative test mu greater than mu0 Gre mu greater than mu0 is called right tailed test h1 mu less than mu0 mu less than mu0 is called left tailed test remember if mu is not equal to mu0 h1 if mu is not equal to mu0 it is called two tailed test if h1 mu greater than mu0 it is called right tailed test h1 mu less than h0 is called left tailed test all are important left tailed right tailed and two tailed test errors in sampling the main objective in the sampling theory is to draw valid inferences about the population parameters on the basis of the sample results there is always a chance of making error there are two possible types of errors in the test of hypothesis the two types of error are one is a type 1 error the second one is type 2 error type 1 error rejects h0 rejects h0 means reject null hypothesis when h0 is true type 2 error is accepts h0 when h0 is wrong accept h0 h0 means null hypothesis reject h0 when h0 is true it it is rejects null hypothesis when h0 is true type 2 error is accept h0 when h0 is wrong now p reject or accept h0 by h0 is equal to alpha is this is equal to beta this is this is reject p reject h0 by h0 is equal to alpha p accept h0 by h1 is equal to beta alpha is uh, alpha is called producers risk because a good lot is getting rejected type 1 error beta is called consumer risk because a bad lot is getting accepted for type 2 error now p reject h0 by h0 is equal to alpha p accept h0 by h1 is equal to beta what is alpha is called producers risk because a good lot is getting rejected for type 1 error beta is called consumer risk because a bad lot is getting accepted for type 2 error test statistic to test whether null hypothesis setup should be accepted or rejected we use test statistics based on the z distribution under normal curve for a large samples and t distribution is used for some sam small samples now remember here to test whether null hypothesis setup should be accepted or rejected we use test statistic based on z distribution under normal curve for large samples and t distribution is used for small samples critical region a region what is mean by critical region critical region a region in the sample space s which amounts to rejection of h0 is called critical region which amount to rejection of h0 rejection of null hypothesis rejection of null hypothesis is called critical region while doing the problems about critical region null hypothesis alternative hypothesis i will tell you thank you